What is up, Think Media? Super fired up. Doing a studio tour today of the brand new Think Media studio, multi-camera angles. We got the sound effects. You got to just press record. That's right. So smash the like button if you're fired up for this first look. My name is Sean Cannell for Just Meeting, and I'm pumped to get into the content today. I'm joined in studio by the incontrovertible Kyle Anderson, and he's actually going to be jumping on to this fourth angle and we're going to show you what we are up to with uh, our stream deck with the roadcaster with the audio um, and if you have any questions let me know about that as well and so uh, let's just dive straight into it and um, thank you so much for being here today let me know where you're watching from uh, first and foremost let me welcome you to the studio uh, I am uh, here in the North Pacific Northwest Great to see you. Um, and we've been building out the studio. Kyle's been a huge help. He's on that B-roll angle right now. We've been doing some Ikea details. If you check out the LED lighting, ooh, a little bit of Philips Hue behind the white dresser. Um, we got an Iris Philips Hue light on there. This is all Ikea furniture. Been using these grids. Also got uh, some plants. They're not real if you want to check out the uh, the corner plants. And so trying to get the vibes going. But of course, the main setup is this studio setup right here. And so uh, let's just go through the checklist. Um, the music today brought to you by Harris Heller, Stream Beats, shout out. I'm um, going to be connecting with them on the Think Media podcast soon. Uh, love what Alpha Gaming is doing. Uh, but uh, hey, we've got a couple different camera angles here. We've got the... Uh, uh, a 6400s, a couple Tamron lenses, and I went ahead and put uh, a quick kit together with some of the gear in the description down below. Um, on this first angle, you're looking at an 11 to 20, 2.8 lens. And then on this angle, it's the 17 to 28. Um, dummy batteries plugged in. I really love these um, arms that we've been using um, we went through a couple different ones. It's hard, you know, if you shake your desk, it's hard to get something really st sturdy if your camera is a little bit heavier. And so there's some kind of chintzy arms or, or weak flimsy arms out there. And so, uh, this is nice and stable. And then let's see, we got a ZV one up in here. And what's kind of cool is this is sort of like probably the product showcase mode one as well. So look how quick that Sony focus grabs, uh, you know, whatever and i could for example i could show you the philips hue flow and we've got the philips hue lighting there and so i can go in with our office front bar and pick out like tokyo if i want change the lighting dynamics a little. so uh, that's kind of cool have you ever used any kind of office lighting stuff let me know let me hit this angle there's the philips hue bulbs so this was kind of intentional one of the the things we did here was i i wanted to say okay the room's going to be gray. I wanted the room to be gray um, so that it would pull light, you know, whatever light is shined on it. Um, these are just some track lights from Home Depot. And there's five, you know, places to screw in the bulbs. And then there's five Philips Hue bulbs and there's two tracks. So on the other side of the room is another track. And then watch the switch up. We got uh, the office lights we could hit. A different color just from your mobile app and we can also integrate that if we want with the stream deck so the controller up in here is uh, elgato stream deck camera one we've got um a6400 camera two a6400 camera three zv1 and then we just plugged in an hdmi cable here for camera four and that's what you're looking at right now so many different combinations and settings and to get those four cameras plugged into the system, it's a Cam Link Pro on that setup. And so Cam Link Pro is an internal capture card, PCIe, and it allows you to uh, do a little bit of heavier lifting. So you pull your cameras off of the USB drive. Now over here, what about audio? Um, and smash like if you're finding this entertaining. We've got our Rodecaster. And so I've got my Shure SM7B on this channel right here, and I can control my gain. Um, I've got Action bringing in Stream Beats, which if you've never checked out Stream Beats, you have copyright free music you can use, just streaming off Spotify. And I can bring that up on this slider right here. Ooh. Oh man, that's smooth. Sheesh. 
Yeah. So uh, we got we got that track. And, you know, there's a lot of different ways to do this. You could make a, a virtual mixer or a virtual camera, but I wanted everything to be tactile. So then I can also have my sound effect pads here. You got to just press record. And there's your uh, tagline for Think Media. If if you're feeling sheesh, sheesh about the sheesh. setup. Come on. Come on. No, we got it. We got it. Listen. Um, so we got sound effects. There's eight of those pads and uh, you can do eight banks. So this gives you uh, the opportunity to do up to 64 sound effects um, on there. And so pretty nice. And then on this computer channel here, if I bring somebody on StreamYard or Zoom, I can control their audio separate. So that was I also wanted to separate music versus guests on this channel versus sound effects on this channel. Sean, how much did the studio cost? A lot. And so uh, we'll be dropping more uh, details about all of that. In fact, we're going to be making some videos today. Got Kyle with me, Mr. Anderson. If you haven't seen his desk setup, actually, from the Vegas studio, Las Vegas, where we're actually based out of, um, we just opened up kind of a new studio up in the Northwest. Um, I definitely recommend checking out his desk setup. We'll link that up in the description down below. And of course, summarized a lot of this gear in the description down below. But if you have a question, throw four question marks at me before and after. Um, you know, and a couple other live streaming tips that uh, I am intentional about here. In fact, we'll zoom out and show you is um, is multiple monitors. I think that's pretty critical. Um, and so right here, here's the the Think Media live streaming. So two monitors, I can put my dashboard over here for StreamYard. Um, and then I'll, over here, I could show you something or teach off something. So in StreamYard, I'm just going to share my screen. And here's a little bit of the gear, right? So now you could see uh, I'm putting together a kit of some of the things we're using the CamLink Pro, some of the cameras, and this isn't even close to everything, but a couple 32 inch monitors, audio engine a2 plus speakers on the desk and so uh then stream already lets you do this so this starts you can start seeing this starts getting pretty dynamic because then we can pull this down i'm probably not typically gonna have a, a roaming camera here you know because i can the goal was to make this whole setup uh solo something that i could do is kind of like a one man um setup and and just hit the button with the lighting we're gonna get alexa in, integrated so it could just be like alexa cyberpunk colors let's go and um and maybe she could even do the live stream for me who knows um so let me know if you have any questions and uh shout at me out where you're watching from today smash like if you've been getting value appreciate you being here david good to see you appreciate you being here alfin you know is Streamyard better than obs um I don't, I don't actually, it, it might not even be better, but it's for sure easier. You know, OBS has a steep learning curve. You have to do a lot of, you know, that was basically why I avoided it. You know, Tony Ariola is kind of like our uh, live stream expert here at Think Media. And he um, was just talking about like his brother is a professional streamer. And he was just talking about like, you know, OBS is, is more functionality, but StreamYard is so easy to use. And even though this setup might seem kind of crazy, that was one of my goals was to make it easy to use um, because I could just, you know, switch my camera angles, mix my audio. You know, one of my favorite things from this setup is this clock. Um, and I forgot to start it today, but I actually have a separate clock so I can actually kind of like on stage, you have a confidence monitor and a clock to make sure you don't talk too long um, if you're, you know, speaking at an event or something. So I kind of uh, simplicity. Let me know. Thumbs up or thumbs down if this actually seems simple. Um, but that's why I like StreamYard is because it's uh, pretty pretty simple and easy to use. Add my screen real quick. Do a channel review if I want really easy. Um, and, and show you whatever I'm looking at, that kind of thing. So um, is Blue Snowball a good starter mic? Absolutely. Great mic. Um, and is Discord a good alternative? I don't know if Discord is even a live streaming situation. I think Discord is, isn't it more of a messaging group? They might have some live streaming functionality, but let me know. So shout me out where you're you're watching from. And uh, thanks so much. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, Chris Dubs says, where did you get the clock? You like you like my clock? Um, I'll throw that on the kit.com. So if you want to see a summary of the gear, 
um, I'm putting together or kit.co co a link in the description that kind of just will summarize the uh, details of what's in this setup. And um, let me know if you got any kind of questions about it. Uh, how do you guys earn money? Um, a lot of different ways. Made a video called uh, 21, how we have 21 different streams of income. I actually don't recommend trying to start out with that because it's kind of like if you try and chase two rabbits, you end up catching neither of them. And so uh, start simple, but over time, we've added on a lot of different income streams. So I, I recommend checking out that video. I'll link it up in the description down below. Does StreamYard encode the stream or do you use a separate appliance? StreamYard is the encoder, I believe. It is um, a web-based app, which is nice. And here's what's cool about StreamYard. If the stream crashes, then ultimately you can um, you can actually it'll keep going and then you can just re-get back on and keep going again, especially if you have a couple of different people helping you stream or a guest. It, we've had that happen a lot. Like, oh, Sean's gone for 45 seconds while he reopens. So it's web-based. StreamYard essentially creates, or your web camera, your webcam creates one camera, and that's your camera going into StreamYard. And then StreamYard does all the encoding. And it's also multiple platforms. So shout out to Facebook. Uh, we're streaming across uh, Facebook groups and uh, Facebook as well, which is kind of cool. And so uh, are the preamps of the Rodecaster Pro better than the Scarlett? I don't know. It's possible. Uh, I, I haven't. We love the preamps. You're hearing them right now. We do have a cloud lifter as well in our Shure SM7B microphone. Um, all happening. Uh, but uh, that's for an audio file to those kind of details. But most would the Rodecasters preamps as like kind of good enough. Maybe not the best in the world, but but hey, they're they're great. I think this sounds pretty good. You let me know how you think this sounds. Um, what other kind of questions you have? Is StreamYard paid? We'll throw a link to StreamYard. You can actually get uh, $10 off. It is free. And then you're just going to have a watermark. You can see I got the custom Think logo right here, right? Wherever it's at. Um, if you want to have the customization, then there's a paid version. But I recommend definitely grabbing the free version of StreamYard. And I, I think getting the paid versions eventually worth it when you're a, when you're seriously streaming maybe across multiple platforms and you want some of the uh, extra setup good question what are the lights so the lights are um, Elgato key lights and we've reviewed a lot of different lights on this channel we love a lot of different lights but really the reason I went with these lights is because they integrate with the Elgato stream deck so I can just crank up the brightness here you can see that crank it down and even turn the light off completely um, all all with the Elgato Stream Deck buttons. And so, uh, yep, Stream uh, Elgato Key Lights, Stream Deck. And, you know, probably disclaimer is, you know, we're out here on Think Media saying, you got to just press record. And this is this is a little more than you got to just press record. You know what I mean? Can we, can we uh, acknowledge that? Like, this is a dream studio. Um, and I've been hustling on YouTube for over 10 years. I've been live streaming for over five and think media is in a great place. We're doing really well. So this was the result of me saying, what would I want to do if I could build the exact setup I want piece by piece? Um, you know, in a way like where money's not a limitation, but arguably I also wasn't trying to break the bank and, and just get be, if you will, you know, just go crazy each thing we picked out was very intentional very specific this is an autonomous l desk by the way absolutely in love with it uh sit stand desk and the nice thing about the white is it picks up the rgb light situation that's kind of happening in the whole room we'll probably have to black black out this window to really get the rgb lights popping um because a lot of light is coming in from outside still right now we're using these arc scan i believe is the brand name for mounting cameras this is an elgato arm over here, this guy right here. And so um, we have the uh, the like the thing that'll pop all out and get crazy. So this angle will be able to be maybe kind of an overhead shot or whatever that's in the closet right now. Um, but this angle will be what are we doing? Yeah, this guy. So that's an Elgato, just just the basic arm. And then we'll go up from there with the booming and it's it's really cool the elgato master mount or whatever is like a multi 
get your camera angles exactly where you want them. So, uh, yeah, that's a good question. Like, is buying a Stream Deck and these fancy things necessary? Uh, to get started, no, it's not necessary. I think, uh, you know, we do always say, you know, start with what you have. You can start with mobile or you can start with a webcam. You know, on a raw live streaming basis, I would say get a USB mic, use a laptop you already have with the webcam that's in it. You're like, I don't have a laptop. Well, you got to get something. So use a PC or a laptop you already have, get a webcam and get like StreamYard. You're in business. Get an internet connection um, and then start building. Figure out what your mission is, what your vision is. Figure out what your content is. Figure out how you're going to monetize. What's your YouTube business plan? What's your live streaming business plan? Then what you can do is um, start reinvesting. You know, that's been my journey over the last decade. And um, now you start having the opportunity to get more gear to do more things. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, that would be the the dream, I would think. Um, is this a in-home studio? Yep, this is in-home. This is in about a 10 by 10 room. I'll show you the room here. And so rooms 10 by 10 and, um, you know, pretty chill. It, it, it might look bigger than it is. It's not very big at all. Um, about 10 feet that way, 10 feet that way. That's three by three meters for uh, y'all. This is you know, a couple Ikea decor things, trying to keep it as, as simple as possible in here. And um, yeah, we recently were bi-locational now. We're based in Seattle and Las Vegas. And so um, this is a home studio. Powerful what you can do at home. Um, do you need all of it to work? Nope, you don't. And so we're going to make some videos about different pieces. There's a lot of different, a lot of different paths you can do to set all this up. And let's see, thanks so much for the super chat. Uh, really appreciate you, Remedy DIY. And so if you've been getting value, hit that like button. And uh, my name is Sean Cannell, the channel's Think Media. We're here bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And um, Kyle Anderson in the studio today, Kyle Anderson, on that fourth angle, um, if you happen to just be joining, throwing a kit.co link in the description down below uh, to uh, help you find all the different pieces we're using. And um, we uh, are coming to you soon with some other videos. If you're curious how we earn money here at Think Media, just click or tap the screen um, and you could check out a video I did on 21 different streams of income. So to help you build your YouTube business plan, your live streaming business plan. But until next time, keep crushing it, keep smashing it, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.